Okay, now there is two types of breeze. That is sea breeze. Sea breeze and land breeze. So my dear students, it is very easy to understand that. Let us consider the sea region and the land region. The sea region and the land region. Let us consider the sea region and the large region. In the daytime, in the daytime, the rays from the sun comes to both sea and land. But the land gets heated very fast. Isn't it? Yeah. Than what water water in the sea when the land get heated the air present here the air present here what happens what happen it goes up it rise up isn't it so there is a free space so this free space is occupied by the air in the sea level here we have like a heavier heavier air that means cold air it comes to the Free, this free space and there is air comes from the sea level to the land level that is called a sea breeze that is called a sea breeze during the day the land gets heated up by the heat of the sun the air above the land the air above the land also get heated and rises up cold air from the sea flows to take this place this is known as sea breeze that is wind from the or the air from the air from the sea is called a breeze what breeze sea breeze similarly what happens in the night uh, in the night the water in the sea level it is heated it is hot than land it is hot than land so uh, the air the air present here it get heated and also it rise up so there is a free space there so from the land the air goes there isn't it from the land the air goes there so air from the land is called a land breeze air from the air from the land which goes to the uh, level that is called a land breeze during the night the land cools faster isn't it the land cools faster than the sea the air above the sea is now lighter because of the temperature so it rises up and cool air from the cool air from the land goes to the sea moves to the place where uh, the lighter the lighter air go rise up okay there is a free space that race that is this is known as land breeze okay students so this is called a sea, sea breeze and a land breeze okay it is very simple okay my dear students when uh, in our previous classes we have discussed about the three forms of water isn't it so that is uh, changes of forms of water that is we are going to discuss we know that the main the three forms of water what are they solid liquid and gas okay solid liquid and gas so here look at here here uh, in the sea, water is in the form of water, liquid, isn't it? Okay, what happens? What happens when sun rays comes to it? Uh, when sun rays comes, the water gets heat, heated and then it goes up. What happens? Because of the heat. That process is called a evaporation that process is called a evaporation you must learn earlier that water exists in three forms solid liquid and gas these forms of water can change from one form to another when heat is given when the temperature is increases it becomes what water to gas or solid to water and water to gas that is a change we can change the form of water we can change the form of water these forms of water can change from one form to another when water is heated it changes from its liquid from gaseous state its liquid from gaseous form 
this form of water this form of water is called water vapor water vapor water gets what gaseous state that that form is called a water vapor this process by which liquid changes into gaseous form liquid changes into its gaseous form is called a evaporation so uh, it occupy as water vapor when what happens when it is heated so here we have water vapor so here we have water vapor when this water vapor gets cooled when this water vapor gets cooled it then become water then it become liquid this water vapor as are in the form of gaseous gaseous form this water vapor are in the form of gaseous state when this water vapor gets cooled that gets cooled it again become what liquid that process is called condensation very important evaporation and condensation that is liquid become gaseous liquid become gaseous is called evaporation and that gaseous form becomes liquid that is called a condensation similarly water vapor is cooled it changes back into water it changes back into water this process is called a what condensation okay so that is two processes that is one is evaporation and second one is what condensation okay students so this is all about today everyone please read this section and um, i will again explain this in the zoom class and i will give the notes after the zoom class okay students take care of thank you